Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Friday, March 29th of 2024. All right. Today's the second day of the season, the full season. And we decided to record this on Wednesday, the day before the season. We don't get a pack that's uh, a big pack. We're going to do two of them. Maybe we'll just do two anyways just for opening day and we'll try to move it along faster. But let's get going so this video is not forever. We have a five there. All right, we're going to do our first one and see what we get. Go. Legit. Two, three, four, five. We have a seven. So we have a high number, and we're going to roll again to see what we can get. We got a six this time, so go six more times. Four, five, six. And we have Heritage from last year, so it's a Heritage type of day. We're going to look at some packs. I think this is two left in that one. All right. Let's take this other one. Start opening that on the screen, and we'll do this one last. The high number. Those are awesome. Twenty-two high numbers, cool, because you can get J. Rod and Bobby Witt and all that stuff. All right. Austin Hayes. All right, Austin Hayes. We're gonna have to scroll down a little bit because they've taken away the stats from the and put just the career stuff. All right. His twenty twenty-three stats were. 520 at bats, 76 runs, 143 hits, 16 home runs, 67 RBIs, 5 stolen base, and a 275 average. All right, not so bad. We're going to put him up there for now because that's a pretty decent amount of stats there. All right. Let's get back up there too. Who's the next one? Trace Thompson. All right, Trace Thompson. All right, he's with the New York Mets from the Dodgers. Let's see if he's, I don't know, it doesn't say if any of these are still playing, but we have. 82 at bats, five runs, 14 hits, three, one home, one home run. run, three RBIs, two stolen base, with a 171 average, no good. Nah, he didn't play very much, so I don't know if he's going to be long for the MLB there. Javier Baez, he's kind of gone downhill over the last few seasons. Not, yeah. So he's with the Detroit Tigers. I'm not, he used to be really good. But such goes with the players, you know. Alright, we have 510 at bats, 58 runs, 113 hits, 9 home runs, 59 RBIs, 12 stolen base, with a 222 average. Yeah, not very good. Bryce Harper. And I don't know if he's ever, he might be done with, with the outfield for his career, just be a first baseman for the rest of his career. Better spell that right or it won't let me get the name on there. Alright. He's a two time MVP, rookie of the year, home run derby champ, NLCS MVP, three time silver slugger, <coughs> slugger and a seven time all star. So we'll see. He didn't play a full season last year, but. <coughs> 457 at bats. 84 runs, 134 hits, 21 home runs, 72 RBIs, 11 stolen base, with a 293 average. 293, that's really good. He's going up there. Alright. Mitch Keller. Mitch. And we'll see where he's at. This one says the Pirates... This one still says the Pirates. He hasn't done much. 
maybe a few seasons, standard pitching of 13 wins, 9 losses, 4.21 year rate, 32 games, 32 games started, 194.1 innings pitched with 210 strikeouts. Alright, so halfway decent. We'll put him over here. Not wanting to put him up on the stands there. All right, let's move Bryce Harper there, straighten this stuff out there. All right, who's the next player? Ezekiel Tovar, rookie. He might be the one that just signed an extension with the Rockies. I think it is, Ezekiel Tovar. <coughs> so, I mean, like people said, they're starting to pay some of their players, so we'll see how that goes. So, in 2023, he had... 581 at-bats. 79 runs, 147 hits, 15 home runs, 73 RBIs, 11 stolen base with a 253 average. All right, we'll put him down here in honorable mention spot. All right. Ah, oh, we got one of the Venezuelan stamp sticker things. We're just going to put that up there because it looks so cool. And it's the Phillies. We've got Reese Hoskins, Steve Carlton, Mike Schmidt, and Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is a future Hall of Famer. These two are already Hall of Famers. So, yep, we'll just go like that. Lorenzo Cain. If I remember right, he has already retired. I don't think he played at all last year. His last, he says he was with the Kansas City Royals last. Yeah, 22 was his last year, so we'll just read his career stats. 4,314 at-bats, 626 runs. 1,220 hits, 87 home runs, 454 RBIs, 190 stolen base with a 283 average. So let's see how many years he played from 2010 to <coughs> 2022. I mean, those are decent stats for just like a 10 or 11 year period. So we'll put him down here, honorable mention. Justin Steele, rookie. And he did really well as a uh, rookie with them with the Cubs way up I think he might have got second or third in the Cy Young voting that year so standard pitching he had 16 wins 5 losses 3.06 year rate 30 games 30 games started 173.1 innings pitched with 176 strikeouts he goes up there because let's see what does it say here yeah, he was an all-star last year. All right, we're going to open this one. That was a really good pack, if you ask me. That I like that one. Now we're going into the update. So 22. Or the high number, yes. All right, who's our card there? Chris Sale. He's with the Boston Celtics. Boston? Now, yeah, come on, call him the Celtics, the Red Sox. Sorry about that. All right, he's now with the Braves. They've got a loaded uh, rotation. All right, let's go all the way down here. He's been pitching for quite a while. Six wins, five losses, 4.3 year A, 20 games, 20 games started. 102.2 innings pitched with 125 strikeouts. All right, not very good. We're going to put him over there. He had a bad season. All right, he's a seven-time All-Star and won the 2018 World Series. John A. Rookie. It's Joan Adon. If it's Joan or Joanne, I don't know how they say that. Not very good. Oof. His career stats are not very good. Last year he was two wins, four losses, six point four five year rate, twelve games, ten games started, fifty one point two innings pitched with forty eight strikeouts. And the year before he was one and twelve, so yikes! You no, know, we're putting him over here. All right, all right. Who's next? Peyton Henry, rookie. All right. Peyton Henry. Never heard of this guy. This one says the Miami Marlins. It says he's with the Blue Jays now. And where where was he born? American Fork. Utah. That's not very far from where we're at, so. 
Let's see. Nope, his last season was 22. He was not doing, didn't have anything going. He had 28 at bats, two runs, four hits. No home runs. Eight stolen bases with a 143 average. No good. Right, so yeah, he might just be in the minors. That's what I'm thinking. We got to check the backs of these to see if we got any short prints or anything either. Or high numbers and stuff like that. Alright. Nick Castellano. Now this guy is with the Phillies now. He was with the Reds. They had a fire sale. And got rid of a bunch of players. So he's still with them. See if they make it back to the National League Championship Series this year. 626 at bats, 79 runs, 170 hits, 29 home runs, 106 RBIs, 11 no, it's stolen base with a 272 average. Yep. So he's going up on the stand because that's a great season if you ask me. Elvis Paguero, Ricky. Yep, Elvis Paguero. Now, you can comment in the uh, comment section if you think some of these players will have a better, worse, or about as good of a season this year. And, you know, this he had... Four wins, five losses, 3.38 ERA, 59 games, no game started, 61.1 innings pitched with 54 strikeouts. And he's now at the Brewers, so we'll put him over here. George Lopez, Jorge Lopez. All right, he's been around for a while. The Twins, he's with the Mets now. All right, scroll down, get what we need. He was with uh, last year with Minnesota, Miami, and Baltimore, so it's hard to say. He had about six wins and two losses. I don't know, but not too much good on the... He had a 5.09, 9.26, and a 5.25 with the teams he was with. And how many strikeouts did he have? He had 27 with Minnesota, 8 with Baltimore, or Miami, and 14 with Baltimore. So he traveled around a lot, so we're going to put him over here. Carlos Rodon. All right. <clears throat> Alright, Carlos Rodon is with, went from San Francisco over to New York. Let's see if it changed at all. Yep, <clears throat> that was his 23 team. He was. Three wins, eight losses, 6.85 ERA, 14 games, 14 games started, 64.1 innings pitched with 64 strikeouts. Yeah, not very good. Simon Muziotti, rookie. Yeah, Simon Muziotti or Muziotti, I don't know. All right. That says he was with the Philadelphia Phillies. Probably not anymore, but probably, who knows. Well, 22 was his only season, so he didn't really do anything. So probably in the minor leagues, we're just going to skip on that because he only had nine plate appearances with seven at-bats. Kosuke Kato for the Mets. I don't know anything about that guy or if he's still there, so. Alright, let's see. Looks like he only played one season for the Mets and nothing more than that, so I have no idea. This guy is, well, he played with the Toronto Blue Jays. He, was, he had 11 plate appearances, something like that, so. Not much going on. Didn't, let's see. Let, seven at-bats. So he had a 143 average in that. So he's probably off in the minors with them. Getting mired down in there. Uh, let's see. What are the high numbers on this one? Are they 700 plus? Yeah. Okay. Seeing if we got any high numbers on this stuff. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Nothing there. What is Nick Castellanos? Nope. Let me know what you thought. 
what your favorite card was. If you're excited for the beginning of the new season, we kind of are here. It's going to be fun this year. Don't know who's going to win the awards, MVP, Cy Young, all that stuff. And let's see. Are these, these aren't high numbers. You have to go 400 plus. Is that right? Yeah. All right. No high numbers. No anything else. Fun rip there. The new version of this uh, Heritage comes out on April 10th. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back on Monday with more stats and packs. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the new season of baseball.